up, YouTube? It's your girl, V. Sharif, coming at you live from the original 22nd Annual International Locks Conference in Philadelphia. I am doing my first book signing here, so I definitely want to come and share this with you. It was an awesome experience, so I definitely will be getting out more, and I'll be sharing more of my signings and more of my whereabouts when I'm out on my meet and greets. And here is the resource guide from the LOX conference. It happens every year in the first weekend of October. So please do not miss the 23rd annual one next year. Cannot wait. Here is my book, Faceless, the words I journal from my soul. So if you do not have a copy, please pick it up from my blog page as you can see it right there. And I will share the information below. This is my first signing. I had an amazing time. I could not believe the turnout. It was amazing. I don't have the pictures for the book panel that I had where I was speaking with other authors. Some were scholars, doctors, lawyers. So I was so amazed that I was the only new author up there. And I didn't feel out of place. And it was just one of those things that, you know what, when it's your time, it is your time. And when God says yes, those doors will fly open. And it was time for me to share my book and share my experience. My pen name is V. Sharif. As you know, I'm born Valora Sharif Black. And I wanted to separate myself from the poetry. I wanted you to be able to read the poems and not think about, oh, Valora wrote this. This is who I went to school with, or this is a girl that I know, or this is my family member. I wanted you to pick up the book and read it and resonate with something inside of it. I wrote this book for my own healing and for yours. So if you can get an experience out of it and heal from it, please do. Here's me and my father. This is our second time going together to the LOX conference. The first time for me going was in 2014. We're on The Real for Life show every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 Central Standard Time on Harambe Radio. You can go there www.haramberadio.com. Here is Delani Armand. He is the producer, the originator of Harambe Radio. Once again, that's www.haramberadio.com and you can go to past shows and listen to us. And here we are just having a good time. Myself and Professor Griff, he was there. That's just giving you a snippet of some of the people that do show up. Here's Precise Science. This brother has definitely been, you know, he's been out there definitely sharing and bringing us good information. Here is Soleil. She is getting thing, getting more projects done. She is about to get back out there in case you've missed her. Here we are, just one of the young brothers just showing his pride. He is carrying the red, black, and green flag. As you know, Marcus Garvey is the father that motivated and started all of this. It, is, it was a beautiful experience. I definitely enjoyed myself. I definitely enjoyed myself. And this is just a, a, just a, small, a small area of how the LOX conference was laid out. This is actually it was at a high school, and this is the auditorium. So here we all are, the different vendors, and it's just so many different people that are there and selling so many different things. I mean, I, I could not buy everything that I wanted, nor could I good, get pictures of the whole entire thing. But most definitely, if you go to the website, you will see some past, some of the past things that have happened at www.locksconference.com. And you will get information if you definitely want to come to the 23rd one next year. We would love to have you. Most definitely love to have you. Please come out and share the love. And this is just some of the people vending and sharing some of their projects. I mean, it's handmade things home goods, all types of things. And here is my dad with a cutout of Marcus Garvey and just more of the vendors, more of the the just, oh my goodness, the clothing, the jewelry, everything was beautiful. We're ending it off with a fashion show, concert, spoken word. I, it was just a motivational thing. I am still up in the clouds over this event. 
And I will definitely be sharing more. Just so you know, I'm out there. I'm just trying to get things done. I'm working on my second book. So I will be ready next year with book one and two. And I'm going to share with you one of my poems because I get a lot of that. Like, let me hear your style. This piece is called What If We're Not Awake? What if we're heavenly beings trying to fit into an earthly situation? instead of earthly beings looking to experience a heavenly interpretation. What if we're all in hell and death is heaven's first floor? What if love is really hate and hate is love hidden behind a locked door? What if we choose our own misery and reject the freedom of curiosity? Because we're unsure of true happiness through mental uncertainty. What if crazy is the new normal? And the antidote is hidden in the water. What if life is the matrix and knowledge is the key to escape it? What if solitude is the exit route? What if this is all fake? What if we just can't find the button marked awake?